Hey there YouTube, Mark here, uh, making a quick video um, after I received two pairs of sunglasses that I had ordered uh, over the internet here. Uh, I wanted to showcase the difference between fake Ray-Bans and real Ray-Bans, um, primarily because I feel awfully cheated that I received a fake pair and I will definitely be going after this person on eBay, on PayPal, and if you happen to see anything being sold by an Allison Hall from Camarillo, California, don't do it. It's fake. All right. So I've got two boxes here. On the left, I've got the fake Ray-Bans. On the right, I've got the real Ray-Bans. Now, um, the model Ray-Ban that I'm going to be uh, looking at here is the Wayfarer 2140. So it's the classic style Ray-Ban, not the new Ray, not not the not the new Wayfarer. It's a little bit smaller, and I can start showing you differences here, starting from the outside moving in. So, one of the things that I, in my research, that I found out, one of the things to look for is on the boxes. The first tip off is try to see if you can find any kind of legitimate uh, UPC code tag or sticker. So, on the fake Ray Bans, I've got nothing. There's you know nothing on this side. This is where the sticker would be, and here's where the logo is versus. On the real set, I've got something that looks like this. You'll see that there's um, a series of barcodes. Looks pretty legit. You know, that's that's a sticker. It could be easily fabricated or faked. But that was one thing that I noticed that was different between the real pair and the fake pair. The next thing I noticed that was different was the um, presence of the European recycle logo. This logo doesn't appear anywhere on the fake box. This would be the same corresponding side because this is where the sticker would be and this is where this logo is and everything's oriented correctly so there's no recycle logo. It's not on any of the sides here. So those are two seeming giveaways just on the outside of the box. So let's go ahead and open up the boxes to see what we have. So the fake pair the real pair. Immediately you can see the difference here uh, in the quality of the case itself. The first thing to notice is that the actual Ray-Ban logo is vastly different between the two. You can see that the the fake pair on the left seems to be just a sloppy stamp. I mean it doesn't even look like it was applied with any kind of care. It's all the letters are all fat and uh, it just looks really messy. I'm not sure to uh, how clear that is in the video, but it looks pretty awful in real life. Versus on the right side, you've got this very nice shiny gold stamp. Um, in addition to that, the cases themselves, the quality is just much better on this right side. Now, this case may be a legitimate case because I do have another pair of Aviator Ray-Bans that uh, came in a case like this. It was kind of flimsy um, and it, um, it, it sort of resembled the same shape, but I'm not convinced that this is this is uh, the real stuff here. Another indicator too that I noticed that was different is that on the real pair, and you probably can't see it because the focus isn't really working here, but there's a Ray-Ban logo right on the button. This logo is also missing on this case. Okay, so to the goods. This fake pair came with a couple of things. It came with this uh, Ray-Ban pamphlet it came with a microfiber, right? Those very well may be legit, we don't know. And here were the glasses. This is exactly how they came, no plastic packaging, nothing on the outside. Um, they just came like this versus the real pair. Now the real pair, I removed all the plastic that was on it. There was, there was some uh, rubberized plastic things that were on the outside here that I peeled off. There was a, a circle dot plastic thing that said Ray-Ban Polarized that I also peeled off. And um, the arms had plastic covers on them. I also peeled those off. But um, suffice it to say, this white pair, the fake pair, didn't have any of that stuff. Although it does have this little sticker. Um, on the real pair, you also have the little booklet and you also have a microfiber in, um, in plastic here. And this was the sticker, the little rubberized sticker, like static sticker that was on one of them. It was a polarized thing. So 
a couple of key difference here, differences here that I noticed between these two versions of the uh, of the 2140. Um, the first, the absolute first thing I noticed is when opening up the fake pair, notice that the hinges are plastic without any without any sign of, of, of a screw, or at least it's not apparent from the outside. Oh, well, maybe there's a little teeny tiny screw right there, but you can tell that it's just a, mainly a plastic hinge and it looks and feels pretty, pretty flimsy versus what you've got on the real pair. You've got the metal anodized hinge there with exactly seven links. So again, you're not going to be able to see this because it's a little blurry, but if you count out the uh, links, you should see seven individual ones coming together with a really nice anodized screw. So that was one difference that I saw between the fakes and the reels. So there's the, the difference there. Um, another related difference is that if you look on the real ones, let me get this stuff out of the way, the real ones, and you open them up right here, you'll notice that the inside of the stem has a metal rod. You can see it as a little shining, shiny thing there, and the rod is like a, it's like a truss rod in a guitar. It runs all the way along the length of this this part right here. It's got the it's got a rod. Now if you look at the fake ones, it's just a hole. It's not even a complete hole, it's just a divot that they cut in there and there's nothing in there. There's no metal. It's just it's plastic all the way through. Something that I wanted to be able to show here that I'm not sure I'm going to be able to again because of the focus quality of my camera is the quality of the marks. Now you can see that the the marks on the fake pair are sort of rotated counterclockwise a little they're down a little a little bit when compared to the real ones they're a little bit they're situated a little bit higher that you know may or may not be an indicator it could be because of the P for polarized on these glasses but you can feel that this is really smooth it feels like you're touching the glass itself and you can't you can't feel any any protrusions versus this, I can feel it, and I feel like if I scratched hard enough, it would scratch right off. And I bet, I bet it would. And if I if I scratched hard enough, another lens indicator you have is um, is the little RB that's etched into the glass itself. You can sort of see it. It looks like a dark spot in the camera right there, but I assure you, it's an R and a B standing, you know, for Ray Ban, obviously. And you can see it in the glass, right where my finger is pointing at. Now on the real pair, you can't feel it. It's, it's in that glass. I, you know, I, just, I can't feel it. It's right there. This fake pair has a really neat version of it. I mean, it's, it's serviceable, and I can see how it would fake some people out. And you, can, you can sort of see where it is there. Let me see if I can get it in the light. Looks like a smudge, but that's, that's an RB. It looks exactly like the RB on the real pair, but the difference is you can feel it. It feels a lot like this sticker. It feels like it was just written on there with something. And it feels like if I scratch it hard enough, it would come right off. But otherwise, it looks like a pretty good fake RB. Let me see if I can get the real one in here. Okay, there you go. You can see that the real one a little bit better right there. And that's in the glass. In the lens, rather. Versus this one that's just, it seems to be on the exterior. Okay, so that's another difference. Um, on the real 2140s, you'll notice that there's a very aggressive angle on the frames themselves. You'll see that this, this angle is not 90 degrees. In fact, it's smaller than 90 degrees. And you can see that there's a very dramatic kind of arch here. You can see that it's very angular. So when, when it sits, this, area, this, this part of the glasses sits right on your cheekbones versus the fake pair where the frames are almost 90 degrees. I mean, it's, 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 it's almost just like straight down, which is definitely different from how the frames are supposed to look. On the real 2140s, you've got a very aggressive angle on the frames themselves. It's certainly not 90 degrees. Now, unfortunately for this bastard that hawked me 
this fake ass pair of wayfarers. They tried to jazz it up by affixing a little would be Ray Ban, you know, hang tag here. Now, it otherwise, you know, feels good, looks good, all that stuff. However, I did notice immediately a problem with this. I'm not sure if you can read it. Let me pull it out and zoom in. It's not a typo or anything, but if this moron would have had any sense and did a little bit more research, written right below Ray-Ban are the words Bausch and Lam. Now for those in the know, Bausch and Lam no longer owns Ray-Ban. In 1999, Bausch and Lam sold Ray-Ban to Italian uh, sunglass and glass frame maker uh, Luxottica for a healthy sum. I think it was $640 million. Um, but no longer Bausch & Lomb. So you might say, well, maybe it's an old, uh, an old pair now. Bausch & Lomb, when they were fabricating these, were making them in the United States. This pair of Wayfarers, again, you can't really see it, but I'll go ahead and read it for you. It says, Handmade in Italy. Right between the word Wayfarer and the CE logo. It says, handmade in Italy, like a fox. I'm trying to pawn this off. It says, Bausch and Lomb. You're a moron. So, that's the last thing I did want to point out, is that the quality of the printing along the side is much better than the one, than the fake one here. I mean, this looks like, the fake one again looks like it could scratch off versus the real one, the black one or it's just really quality, the, the printing there is, 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 is really good quality. So, um, perhaps the most obvious thing is that when I bought these guys, these white fake ones off of eBay, they were being sold at a ridiculously low price. I think I, I think the final bid on them was just a scotch over $60. So I guess the, the lesson learned here is if it's, if it seems too good to be true, they're probably fakes. It probably is too good to be true. So, Buy your glasses from a reputable dealer. Get the real thing. Don't get stuck paying for fake stuff. If you like fake stuff, that's fine, but make sure you're not paying any more than a couple dollars for it, because that's all it's really worth. But um, anyway, I hope this is helpful, and I uh, hope you guys don't get caught with crappy fake sunglasses when you thought they were real. But um, I guess if you have any questions, feel free to comment on the video. And as always, um, Feel free to subscribe. I don't know if I'll be doing any more of these, but when when they happen, I'll be sure to call people out for it. So anyway, thanks.